The room itself was good. I didn't have a kettle, so I had to make a cup of tea in the microwave, which still like pains me to think about. My name is Megan, welcome or welcome back to my channel Megan Chan Vlogs where I talk about fitness, travel and dogs. Today I'm in a new environment, I'm in Rhiannon's living room. I don't look the best because I got back from Canada on Monday and it's now Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday and I'm just still a little bit jet lagged you know. It's like flying east is worse than flying west so I'm up, I've got eyebrows on. So, I've also got a cup of tea with uh, cheddar on from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the accommodation that we stayed in in America. So, this is coming out before the Canada vlogs. So, I've done the America vlogs. This one's coming out and then the Canada vlogs. So, this is why we're slightly out of sync time-wise. So we stayed in all Airbnbs. I will, if I can, link the Airbnbs like in the description box if you want to stay in the same ones. We chose Airbnbs because there was two of us. It was essentially the same price as staying in a hostel. The quality of Airbnbs in America is really good. We didn't have any problems with any of the Airbnbs. To be honest, Rhiannon found all of them and she researched them really well. The, I think the main issue with staying in an Airbnb compared to staying in a hostel, well there's too many issues. One, the Airbnbs are not necessarily going to be in the centre of where you're staying, especially if you're going for cheaper Airbnbs, whereas hostels are normally like slap in the centre of like the city that you're staying in. And also you don't really meet people. So when I was staying in hostels in Canada, I'd just like meet people in my dorm or sit with someone at tea and make friends that way. But if you're in an Airbnb, you don't really meet other travellers because all the Airbnbs that we stayed in were private. So we had the whole place to ourselves. I'm gonna go through each destination that we went to and explained why we stayed in each area and then cut to a video that I took at the time like showing you around the Airbnb whilst drinking biscuit brew because I had some left from traveling because it doesn't taste right with foreign water. So we're going to start in New York. We didn't actually stay in New York, we stayed in New Jersey which is the state next to New York over the Hudson River and we stayed in like New Jersey itself like the city. Is New Jersey a city? Like the, not like the whole state, but like we could look over the Hudson River and see the New York skyline, like we were really close. We stayed there because it was a lot cheaper. The area that we stayed in was the Spanish area, which was fine because we can speak Spanish. It was like South American, there was lots of like Peruvian restaurants and things like that. Some shops we went into, they didn't speak English. They only spoke Spanish, which we weren't ready for, but like it was fine. Apart from when we were trying to sort a phone contract out, we then went into New York to make sure we like, did it properly without a language barrier. The hosts of this Airbnb were lovely, like super, super on it with communication. So I'll cut to the, the tour of the Airbnb now. Welcome to our Airbnb in New Jersey, near New York. So when you come into the Airbnb, you come into the kitchen area. Um, sink, obviously. Um, hob, and, hob and full cooker, which is great. And then like a getting ready area here. We're just sorting the water bottles out. Tea and coffee and spices. And then we have the bathroom, um, towels that need washing, so we're moving out today. Shower, toilet, and then you have massive fridge freezer and microwave. Sitting area, so this is a sofa bed, so I've been sleeping on this sofa bed. Air conditioning. And then in here is the main bedroom where Rhiannon's been sleeping with a fan and a safe. And then we have the dining area, so we've got dining table and window where the pigeons have been taunting us. Okay, so moving on to the next destination, we got the bus from New York down to Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. Um, it wasn't a long bus, it was like two and a half, three hours maybe? It was, it was a nice coach, Dennis Green was our driver, who was hilarious, like he was just, he was just tip top. In Philadelphia, it was too expensive to stay in Philadelphia itself. We stayed in the district of Maniunk, so this was the cutest little district it was like a half an hour train ride away from the centre of Philadelphia, but they had loads of little cute shops. Lo this street, I can't remember the name of the high street, I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing. Going down to this high street was loads of little restaurants, loads of cute little shops. It was down a massive hill, so when we walked back we did have to walk up a massive hill. But the Airbnb was so cute, the lady who owns the Airbnb had like recently redone it 
really loved traveling herself, came to check in on us. She was away for the weekend, so she had her neighbor on hand if we had any issues and we met her little dog as well. So it was, it was, it was great, it was great. So we'll go to the footage of the Philadelphia Airbnb. We've just landed in our Philadelphia Airbnb and it is so cute. So you went up like this magical path to get here. And then you come in, you have a bed area um, with posters and whatnot. Um, oh, Rhiannon came with the apartment as well. And then going into here, it's like someone's basement type thing that they've converted. Little table, little like a mini kitchen thing. Um, and we've got Ikea biscuits and a coffee machine. And then very excitingly over here, we have an actual kettle, a quiet air conditioning unit, which is ideal. Little sofa bed, bathroom, which is very swanky. It's got a nice new shower in. Oh, and also has air conditioning in here. Beautiful. Massive TV. I think that's a, like stairs to the house upstairs. And then like a washer dryer room. Next, we went to Baltimore. So we got the bus from Philadelphia to Baltimore and we stayed in a hotel in Baltimore. So the reason that we went to Baltimore was because Rhiannon really likes Ace of Cakes and their like cake shop was there, but it's not really like a touristy place. So there weren't really many places to stay, not very many Airbnbs. So we stayed in a hotel that had like a shuttle bus, a free shuttle bus into the center of Baltimore. The room itself was good. Didn't have a kettle, so I had to make a cup of tea in the microwave, which still like pains me to think about. I wouldn't, if you're staying there, would not bother with the hotel gym. Most of the stuff was not really functioning very well. Um, the breakfast was good. The staff was so, so friendly. Bob the shuttle man was an absolute babe and he made sure that we weren't stranded anywhere at any point because they did cancel the shuttle bus on the 4th of July without telling us we had to ring up and that was interesting after the fireworks when it was dark trying to get back to the hotel so um it was fine for two nights stay and as i say the staff were really friendly and we got a double bed each so we have just arrived in our hotel in baltimore we have like a massive double bed each this <laughs> is gremlin in the background hi <laughs> so two double beds as you can see um, we're on the 11th floor here, which we were both very excited by because I don't think we've been up this high before. Ooh, that's a nice view of like houses and stuff. And then we've got a desk area, a little, a little fridge freezer, coffee machine, massive TV. We're hoping to watch Jeopardy at some point. Microwave. <laughs> no kettle, unfortunately, so I need to microwave my water to have a cup of tea and then the bathroom we have a disabled bathroom for some reason i don't know why nice sink toilet and then a shower with a seat and then the final place we stayed on the east coast was washington so again we got the bus from baltimore to washington oh this airbnb was super super posh the again the hosts were very friendly like so communicative told us where the best taco place was which was ideal and this Airbnb was within walking distance of everything, well, obviously not everything, but the main sites in DC as well. So we didn't have to get too much public transport everywhere. It was beautifully air conditioned. It had a washing machine, it had a dryer. And yeah, we just, we just had fantastic times there. Such a posh Airbnb. And yeah, here it is. We are in our Washington Airbnb. The area around here is so posh. It's so fancy. It's got very good dogs. We managed to meet the owner of the Airbnb at Corner Drift. <laughs> <laughs> we met the owner of the airbnb coming in and they've got a, a doggy called max who's very cute and was up for tickles who so is what was max's friend called i didn't hear no i didn't but max had a friend who was also very much up for tickles so this is like a converted basement oh that's very close it's like a converted basement and it's just posh you know it's posh we've got the sofa bed which is the second bed because so we can have separate beds and then we've got a double bed here and then something making a noise there and then in that cupboard there is washing machine and dryer. Here's Rhiannon looking anxious. And then we've got the kitchen area here with a kettle. Yes, we've got a kettle. Got a little bathroom, it's cute. Next, we flew to the West Coast. So we flew from DC airport over to San Diego, which took five hours. I'm still baffled by that. Five hours to fly across the country. Anyway. Our Airbnb in San Diego was at the top of, not at the top, up a massive hill. But the views from the Airbnb were just 
incredible and this place had a roof terrace it had a balcony it was within like 20 minutes walk of a shop it was just fantastic and again the person who owned the airbnb was lovely the kitchen was small so for like longer term trips it might be harder but for what we did it was absolutely fine we're currently in our airbnb in san diego we are just checking out so things are a bit all over the place so it's not what it looks like when you check in but it's like a little flat above where the people live. So we have a single bed, we're just taking all the bedding off, a Rhiannon, a double bed, a TV that is actually just the show, that's the TV that actually works, a massive table, like a massive table, and then here we have a balcony and a tiny kitchen area, and then a bathroom with a massive shower, and then upstairs, a roof terrace with views over San Diego. Next stop was LA. We got the bus from San Diego to LA and we stayed in the Alhambra district of LA. So LA is big. I think, I want to say it's the second biggest city in America after New York. Might be a lie, but that's what I want to say. When you go near central LA, central LA, it is more expensive, so we didn't stay there. We stayed in the Alhambra district. It was the Asian district, so there was lots of beautiful colours, lots of Asian supermarkets. And our Airbnb was like at the back of someone's house. It was kind of like their outhouse, so it was completely separate. It had such a big kitchen, like an amazing kitchen. Again, the people who owned the Airbnb were on hand all the time. We couldn't get the water machine to work, largely because we're idiots. And they came around straight away and were like, you just need to do this. It had like so many amenities that were really, really useful. And the air conditioning was amazing. And the water cooler was just. We've just landed in the Airbnb in LA and it's down like a really residential street, like what you'd see on Desperate Housewives. And the Airbnb is like an outhouse of like on someone's drive and it's so cute. So you come in and you've got the living area here. I'm presuming this is a sofa bed here. Massive TV, panda. And then in here is a double bed, bigger than a double bed, huge bed. And then we've got a kitchen area. Importantly, we have a hob, which means we can make s'mores. And then the bathroom here is, oh, is dark. Oh, it's very nice. Big shower again. Hello. And then the final place that we went to in our little trip of the States was San Francisco. So we flew from LA to San Francisco because it was a long, long bus journey. Otherwise, Rihanna gets travel sick on a coach. The plane was actually delayed for three hours because there was an evacuation of San Francisco airport. So we got there quite late, but it was again another fantastic airbnb so unsurprisingly because it's san francisco it was up a massive hill but the views over san francisco were amazing like we were so lucky with the weather when we were in san francisco because it wasn't really that foggy it was foggy on the last day when something just came through the door it was foggy on the last day when i was doing the airbnb tour but other than that it was great the girl who owned the airbnb was super friendly super on hand to help with anything if we had any questions about transport or getting anywhere or doing anything she was on hand there was no washing facilities like clothes washing facilities in this airbnb but we just walked down the hill and 10 15 minute walk away there was a laundrette that was easy to use so yeah this is our tour of the san francisco airbnb so we've all packed up from the airbnb in san francisco it looks slightly chaotic just because we've we've packed um this has been such a fantastic airbnb it's on top of a hill you can't see the view because it's so foggy today but we've been really lucky with the views over the town the sunsets that we've had so i'll show you around it's so posh so when you first come in to your right is a bathroom so we have everything you'd expect a bathroom to have sink toilet shower which is such a good shower and then you've got the kitchen area look how big the kitchen is we've got a couple of hobs a microwave we actually have a kettle so i've been able to make proper cups of tea and then this is where i've been sleeping it's the sofa bed and it's like a properly firm futon big tv just catching up on some netflix before we check out and then this is the master bedroom where rhiannon's been with a rhiannon and loads of storage so i've been keeping my bag here so it's been out of the way 
So they are all the Airbnbs that we stayed in when we were traveling around the States. I hope you found it interesting. When I was in Canada, I stayed in hostels because I was on my own. Rhiannon flew home from San Fran. So I just stayed in hostels. I stayed in one bed and breakfast where I had a room to myself in Ottawa. But apart from that, I just stayed in dorm rooms in hostels, which I prefer to do when I'm on my own because you get to meet other people and it's cheaper if you're not sharing it with someone. If you have any questions, pop them below and thank you very much for watching. So the next lot of videos should be on Canada. Oh.